Hi folks, so here's a, a snapshot of the story behind the hymn Abide With Me. I've left a link in the description below for you to click on if you want to hear my version of the song. It's a, a link to YouTube music from my Hymns from the Grove album, so I hope you enjoy that. But I thought it'd be nice to share a bit of the stories behind some of these hymns. So, Abide With Me was written by an Anglican minister in, from Devon um, by the name of Henry Light and it's thought to have been written around about 1847. So the story goes that Light was visiting a dying friend and this friend kept repeating this phrase, abide with me, abide with me. And this was Henry's first inspiration to write the hymn. So went on to finish the hymn um, and he left the, the hymn with the family of his dying friend. Now, like himself, he didn't keep in good health, really. And he would often travel overseas to a warmer climate, as was often the custom in those days, to get some, some healing. Um, and it's believed that about 27 years later, when Henry was age 54, he was suffering from tuberculosis. And he recalled the hymn when he was thinking about his own death, approaching his own death. And that brought the hymn back to mind for him. And indeed he did die only a few weeks after that of tuberculosis. And the hymn was first sung publicly at Henry's funeral before being sung in the wider church. Now it is kind of a, a sad hymn in some ways because it's talking about leaving this world and death and leaving our family and friends here um, and maybe being, a, maybe being a little bit scared or apprehensive about death. But at the same time it's, it's a song of hope. So this is a hymn of real hope for Christians, for those who have a faith in Jesus that we do not fear death, we don't fear death. In fact, death is just the beginning of a, an amazing life for us with Jesus. And so I'm going to leave you with these encouraging words from 1 Thessalonians 4, from verse 13. And it says this. And now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died, so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. We tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still living when the Lord returns will not meet him ahead of those who have died. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. First the believers who have died will rise from the graves, then, together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. So, encourage each other with these words. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that has been an encouragement to you, especially to those of you in these difficult times who are maybe thinking about loved ones who know Jesus and just, just really missing them. So be encouraged and I hope you enjoy the hymn. Remember and click on the link below. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.